everybody says it's your year, you know. Do they? Yeah, they say it's your year this well, year. Well, the good thing about that is you have absolutely no control. Wait a second, Mr. Six-time Oscar nominee. I think we've heard you say those words before. That's one part of this whole, you know, making a movie situation that, that I have absolutely no control over. It's beyond my control. It's really beyond your control. Love that. Well, we were with Leo for his very first Oscars back in 1994. The performance was for What's Eating Gilbert Grape. He was just 19 years old. I'm definitely nervous, yeah. yeah. But at the same time, it's just, it, it's an honored nervousness, you know? I'm just so happy to be here. Leo waited 11 years for his next nod, 2005, The Aviator. The actor was so excited, the Oscars was the first time he ever walked a red carpet with then-girlfriend Giselle Bündchen. I got my mom and my girlfriend with me rooting for me tonight, so I got a good support system. A lot of weeks leading up to this. Certainly, a lot of years leading up to this moment. His aviator was beat by Jamie Foxx's Ray. Forrest Whitaker's Last King of Scotland won over his Blood Diamond performance, and The Wolf of Wall Street fell to Matthew McConaughey's big transformation in Dallas Buyers Club. Now, Leo, we know you're the most humble and respectable of artists, and we love you for it, but this giveable moment is what we want to see you do when you finally hold Oscar gold. You do these films, you put so much energy, so much thought into it, and to, to have your peers sort of recognize that and say, okay, you're worthy of being nominated is fantastic. I'd be lying if I said it, it wouldn't be.